In this video, we would see how to install Maven on Linux. Let us start. This is the Linux VM with CentOS based operating system. Since we would use zip file for installing Maven, the instructions would be similar for Ubuntu machine as well. So before installing Maven, we have to install JDK as the prerequisite. So I would install JDK with M. So here I will install JDK 11. So for that we have to provide Java 11, Open JDK and devil. So now it will install open JDK 11. So this installation will take some time so we have to wait for it. So now JDK is installed we can verify the version using java hyphen hyphen version command. So now we can see that the JDK is installed with version 11.0.17. So now we have to install maven. So for that, let us try to download the Maven package first. We have to get the URL of Maven installer. So now we can click on this URL. This download URL will show us different files and we can use this tar file or zip file here. So I am I'm taking the zip file location and we will download that using wget command. So now we have the zip file. Let me unzip it. Now we can see a new directory with Apache Maven 3.8.6. So we have to keep this uh, directory inside our system path so that uh, we can directly access Maven from our path itself. So before changing the system path, let us create a soft link for it. So I will create a soft link using ln-s command. So I am giving a name maven for the soft link. So now we have created a soft link maven to point to apache maven 3.8.6. So now we link with this maven path in the system path. So for that let us change dash rc file. We have to provide download path. So now our maven bin will be in the system path. So let us save this. Let me execute bash again. So we can verify our Maven version. Now we can verify that our Maven version is 3.8.6. Even though we did not specify any Maven home variable, but still it is showing that because from Apache Maven version 3.5, we do not need to separately declare that Maven home variable. Now we have installed Maven successfully. Let us verify the installation by creating a sample project in Maven and we will verify the installation of that project using this Maven version. So before doing that, uh, we have to understand that Maven configuration can be done in three ways. One is system level or global level. So that, that means in, if you go inside Maven now, you can see different directories. Under this we have conf directory. So this settings.xml is an important file. So this is the file at installation level now. So this is also called like global configuration settings of Maven. So we can copy this at user level. So let me create a directory in my user home with dot m2 and I will copy this file there. So this is the default directory where Maven will search for user level settings. So now we are copying this settings.xml to this user level directory. We can verify what is there inside. So in this session I will not explain much in this uh, about this file. We will use this file as it is. Let me close this. So now let me create a sample project for our Maven. Make directory. Example 1. So under example 1. So we have to create a pom.xml. So let me create a pom.xml. So in this form.xml, we have to add like group ID, artifact ID, version, etc. for the project. So for that, let us take an example from Maven website. So let me copy this file as it is. So in this, we have like project and also group ID, artifact ID, version. So these are the minimum things we have to provide in a form.xml. So we'll, I will explain these things later uh, when we go on with Maven. 
and these are the compiler settings source and target and this is the dependency so this will be downloaded when we execute maven uh, commands so let me save this file so now we have form.xml so let us also create some uh, directories src main java so we have to create a sample java file under uh, in this directory so under src main java so under this java directory i will create a hello dot java so i have written a sample hello program here so what it does is it contains a main method and uh, it will print hello when we execute this program so let us save this file so now we have a sample project uh, which can be executed via Maven. So let us go back to the directory where we have the pom.xml. So this is the directory where we have pom.xml and we have our source code. So now let us execute Maven command now. I am giving clean install here. I will explain these commands in the later sessions. So, so now for verification of our installation, we are executing this command. Let me execute that. So now it is building our application. First, it will download all the required plugins. Later, it will execute our build tasks. For the first time installation, it will take a lot of time uh, for downloading all the required plugins, etc. So now the build is completed and it is successful. So this way we can verify whether our Maven installation is successful or not. So in the later sessions, we will go in detail about how this works and all. I hope this video is useful to you. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe.